What's going on guys? It's your boy Dev back with another one he's talking about this and today we're doing a top 10 some of the LR tier list that need easy A's. So let's get straight into it without any stopping. So coming at number 10 we have our boy LR Bojack now. LR Bojack, I mean <laughs> him next to STR Bojack is oh my god. By the way, STR Bojack's gonna be coming soon on Global, obviously. So I mean, hey, if you want him, go ahead because him right next to LR Bojack is woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That's a rotation. Now, all they really need to do with this man is give him key in his passive. That's that's literally it. They don't even to change anything about this man. Just just key in his passive. That's all I have to say about him. Good links. Good categories. <laughs> yes, BBB, big bad bosses. The BBB. Good leader skill for Dok on Battlefield. But you also guys, you're gonna you're gonna notice that most of the the LRs that I'm talking about are gonna be the key for 100 percent the stats LRs or the key three and ninety percent the stats LRs. So you're basically gonna be seeing that Typically those in this whole video. So let's move on to the next unit since LR Bojack is a fucking beast. All he needs is key, by the way. That's that's literally it. So coming at number nine, we have our boy LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, again, all they have to do with this unit is remove this this defensive debuff, and he's good. That's that's literally all they have to do. Like let's say they make let's say they turn this minus 70% defense into plus 70% defense. He becomes better. And let's say they turn this rare chance to stun, which is a 20% chance to stun, by the way, into a medium chance to stun, which would be much better. <laughs> See, like, minor things, minor changes to LRs. Like, let's say they take this 180% attack and performing a 18 key super. Let's say they change that and turn that to, like, fucking 200%, right? A minor change, like a little 20% attack plus, like, up. They can turn this into a 200% attack and 70% plus 70% defense, not minus. When performing an ultra super attack, I mean. <laughs> Number one, that buffs his defense. That's, that basically means when he does 18 key super, he gains 190% defense. And he's going to be sitting at a 200% <laughs> attack plus up. Like, come on now. He could be getting so much, really. So much, but so little at the same time. They could just, all they have to do is change this and then take this away and up this a little bit but they don't even need to do that and he just becomes better he's already good right now like him sitting at 120 percent defense he's he's fine like this right now really he could still take a he could take a, a bit of a hit in super battle road and extreme super battle road but regardless of the fact if you ever need an enemy to be finished which in extreme super battle road and super battle road some of those enemies aren't tanky you can get this man to just launch that gigantic super attack and boom they're dead so let's move on to the next unit i mean but like i said they just have to remove this so let's move on. So coming at number eight, we have our boy LR Physical Cell, a unit that I've wanted for the absolute longest, guys. <laughs> well, primarily because, duh, number one, I'm a Cell fan. And number two, I like this card, but he's garbage. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I know he's trash. He's definitely a bottom, five, well, bottom 10. Let me say bottom 10 LR. He's not a bottom five LR. He's bottom 10 because he is, he is bad. Primarily because he looks good on paper. Number one, he's an AoE, so he's good for World Tournament. Number two, he restores HP while AoEing. Starts out with 90% attack and defense at the start of turn, so that's a nice little standard attack and defensive buff. He gains additional key and attack per existing enemy. He has shock and speed and big bad bosses. And also some good categories. So, he looks good on paper, but, like, he was clearly meant to be used in Super Battle Royale, yes. Primarily because he's AoE restores HP, and he gains key and attack per existing enemy, right? That's not really the case when you actually bring him into Super Bad Road with how much defense does he have. He has it up over, he's up over 10k defense, he's up over 13k defense rainbowed, right? Regardless of 55% of rainbowed, I've used this man rainbowed and 55% before, and he's, he, he gets absolutely slaughtered, guys. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you, this man gets... He gets slammed to the wall, so I'll be honest with you guys. This just changes from 90% to 120% attack and defense at the start of turn. That we have a better at start of turn buff. And they should make this they should make this key one 10% attack and defense per existing enemy. So he could like so he could have a bit more just to just like attack. I'm telling you guys, defense is more useful than attack any day. <laughs> any day of the week. I'm taking defense over attack, personally. Um this raises it. I feel like he should raise attack and defense one turn as 18 key because like that'd be more useful. And then like his 12 key's fine. All you have to do is just like just give him a bit more defense up this and then like 
That's really it, because he has a good link set. He has Big Bad Boss and Shock and Speed, Fierce Bad and Legendary Power. Oh, these other links are just, you know, <laughs> these these are just some cell links, basically. But, you, you know, his best linking partner is Incel, which is why I want him. I don't have him on either versions, but that's not what we're talking about here. Let's move on to the next unit. So coming in at number seven, we have LR Chunks in mind. Now, this is an LR I've always found garbage, primarily because <laughs> they practically start out with no defense in their passive. But hey, you guys may say, but Dev, her time travelers category ally on the team, and they're a time travelers category ally. So, I mean, you're right. I'm never gonna lie. So they only start out with 10% defense. <laughs> Nagy, come on. <laughs> 10% fucking defense. What is that doing for you? I mean, if you're not using him on a full-time Travis team, what are you doing? Using him on future? Honestly, they just need to start out with a, a pure attacking defensive buff without this time Travis fucking bullshit. And change this from 4 key and 130 to... I'd say they, they could just bump it up to 1... They could change this from 130 to 140, really. Or one, 130 to 150. Honestly, when they get an easy A... It's going to be the same celebration when Int Goku Black gets a UZA. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. They have a good link set. They are on good category teams, but they could use a little more. Not going to lie. They have good super attack effects, but the thing is that they're really like... Their center focus is super bad road, right? Primarily because they gain 16 to 50% chance of dodge when going up against a future saga category enemy. But like, the thing is, is that the only good teams that they mesh well on... Is Future Saga and Time Travelers. That's the only two teams that they'll mesh on. And Time Travelers is obviously better than Future. Don't even, don't even tell me nothing. I don't want to hear nothing, bro. <laughs> it's not even a fucking debate. They need, a, they need like 100% attack and defense to start a turn. And they can still keep this bullshit where they gain 10% attack and defense per Time Travelers category ally on the team. They can keep this and everything else just, you know, is fucking... It's history, really. <laughs> so let's just move on because I don't really have much to say about them. I'm not a fan of this unit. They could just use, they could use something. They could just, they could just get anything. They could gain some, gain some key, like start of turn key in their pass. Like you start out with three key and 100% attack to the start of turn. They could start with fucking anything. So let's, let's just move on. So coming in at number six, I believe number six. Coming in at number six, we have LR Beerus and Whis. This fucking LR is garbage. <laughs> what, what, what do I have to say? This, this LR only looks impressive. Next to another Beerus or Whis unit or Vados for that case because Vados is in the game. But any like any sort of like God of Destruction or Angel unit, you could sit next to this unit, they'll look impressive. But regardless of the fact, them needing to have a unit, have an Angel unit or a God unit next to them is that's a bit of a <laughs> that's a bit of a problem right there because regardless of the fact, let's say you're running them alone on any of these teams like Realm of Gods, like you, you need a you need physical Beerus next to him without a shadow of a doubt. Like Roma Gods, movie bosses, join forces. Let's say you run them by yourself. They're not, they, they'll have no fucking defense. What are they saying at 55%? Ooh, that's a nice defensive stat. You need, you, you see, they did this on purpose because it, their passive is fucking horrible. 80% attack at the start of turn, and they gain 60% attack and defense for five turns after receiving attack. Why not for the rest of the battle and like have key in their pass? Because the number one thing this unit struggles for is key, because they only tote. Shocking speed as a their true key link. What other key links do they have? Um, let's see, let's see. All they have it, yeah, it's only shocking speed. Shocking speed is their only key link. <laughs> Yo, they they really they really need some key in their passive. That's that's not even a that's not even a fucking debate, guys. They need key and they need like a, they just need an overall better pass. They restore HP on both 12 and 18 key super, which is good. But regardless of the fact, this fucking LR is horrible. Garbage, doo doo, anything you want to say. This fucking LR. It's garbage. <laughs> they need an easy A. Bad. So we want to the next unit. The thing is with this unit is that let's take a look at them, right? So we're now moving on to the the ninety percent LRs, by the way. The tech type three key and ninety percent of stats, which is a usable leader skill, but you don't want to use that leader skill regardless of the fact, unless you that's the only leader skill you have in the bag. <clears throat> Excuse me, fucking voice crack. Damn. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not fucking cutting that out, by the way. So, the only way this unit is gaining defense, obviously, is on their, their 12 and 18 key. Um, they have a sort of 50% HP at the start of turn. That's just, that's good. And they gain attack per attack they receive. So, this unit's good, right? They gain attack when they get hit. Recovers HP at the start of turn. 
they gain defense on super, so they're a second or third slot unit. Um, but regardless of the fact, they can still take a hit. Because <laughs> regardless of them being at 14k rainbowed for defense, which is not bad, and 11 k they're at 11k, 55% for defense. That's not bad at all. That's that's actually pretty good. That's pretty damn good for an LR, I'm not gonna lie. At 55%. Especially, well, an old school LR, 55%. Let me correct myself. An old school LR, 55%. But regardless of the fact, um... That, so, I mean, basically means if they double super, they'll gain 60% defense, which is good, which is good. But I feel like if they were to use the this unit, this unit would definitely need defense starting in a passive. Let's say, like, they bump this up, this 15% HP at the start of the turn from 15% to 20%, and they could bump this this attack raise from, from fucking 30% to 50%, and then make this 120 into 150. So that way, they, all they have to do is get hit three times, opposed to, like, what is this, like, that's, like, four times? Yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is four times because 30 and it's 120. Yeah. So you got to get hit four times, which is not bad. I'd rather them get hit three times so they can build up their attack a bit faster because, you know, it's much of a bigger difference, but it doesn't really matter, really. Let them start out with defense. This can be bumped up from 15 to 20. They can make this from 30 to 50, and they can make this from 120 to 150. Ooh, what in the fuck? Their attack stats at 19k? At 55%? Like, whoa. Damn, yo, this LR is, <laughs> this LR is good. Ooh, all right, well, regardless of the fact, they, they'll be one of the last units to get, like, an easy A, but they could definitely use it, not gonna lie, but regardless of the fact, let's move on. I, I like this unit, I like this unit. Coming at number four, we have our boys, LR Trunks and Go 10 now. Okay, two things, two things that they, this unit only needs. One, start a defense buff, and two, Removing this. <laughs> this needs to be removed right here. This. this. This shit needs to be gone. Let's turn all this negative bullshit into raise attack for one turn and raise attack and defense for one turn. And then we can leave this, give them a start of defense buff, and then boom, we're good. They have like a, a very weird link set, but they're usable. On good categories, got a good leader skill, and that's really it. Two changes, the 12 key, and inner passive. Other than that, boom, we're done. That's all we have to talk about this unit, but regardless of the fact they are a good <clears throat> they are a good unit. But um yeah, that's really about it. <laughs> this unit. I can't really think of anything else they would need to change for, no? I mean you guys could you guys could feel free to comment. I, I don't I don't mind. It's Blade like, Dev, you're wrong, and I'm like, bruh. <laughs> so let's move on to the next unit. We're moving into the top three, by the way. <laughs> Defense. That's literally it. <laughs> Honestly, that's all this man needs. He just needs defense. But I just realized something, though. Hold on. He has Mega Colossal on both 12 and 18 key. Hmm. That's pretty damn crazy, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, all this, he, all this man needs is defense. I started to turn attack and defensive buff, and they could leave this. And he's done. <laughs> that's all they have to do with this LR. Because he has shock and speed prepared for battle. <laughs> what the fuck? He has shock and speed and prepare for battle. Like, come on. So, him him toting shock and speed and prepare for battle. Come on, Miha, Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle. He has such a good link set. N number one. Number two, he, he's on a shit ton of categories because, you know, he's fucking Gohan. And <laughs> number three, he still fucking hits dummy hard to this day. What's his attack set? 55%. Ooh, he's a shade under 19k. Ooh. I don't know, man. LR Goku Black is a Masu. Those two motherfuckers really got me with that attack stat. I'm like, oh, damn. That's a nice attack stat. But anyways, regardless of the fact, 100% attack and defense to start a turn. He already fucking gains enough key, so he doesn't need key in his passive. Because he has prepare for battle and shocking speed. Because, I mean, what more is there to talk about them? All he needs is defense. <laughs> that's literally it. That, that's like the key word of this video, defense. So let's move on to the next unit. Stay with me. Ready? Defense. That's all they need to do. Add defense to this boy's passive. Also, they could change his rare chance to stun to like a 50% chance to stun since it's like just a, a single target attack. And it could change his, his 18 key from a, a rare chance to a medium chance because, you know, it's AoE. So, I mean, his AoE could be a 30% chance to stun. And his uh, 12 key could be a 50% chance to stun. I mean, no one would be mad at that. So, let's move on to the last and final unit who I think is fucking horrendous. 
This needs to go. Everything about this man needs to go besides him launching an additional super attack. Honestly. <laughs> Let's get this man some super attack effects. One. Um... Number two, let's get him 100% attacking deep at the start of the turn, or anything. Let's give him some key. Let's give him anything. This, this unit just needs anything, really. Like, what What can we do with Broly? Like, come on now. You know what's funny about this unit is that Broly is so fucking indestructible. <laughs> get it? Because, you know, it fucking says indestructible, same evil. It's crazy because it says indestructible, same evil, and this says inescapable horror, but he lowers his defense by 20,000. He has a flat number boost. Come on. He's sitting with a flat number boost and he's murking his own defense. What's his defense real fast? <laughs> That's nice. So, with that being said, I think, I think we could definitely say he is the unit in most need of an LR EZA, so... Some well are, of course. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.